transforming. The next topic that I'm going to discuss is going to be about racism. So, as of salam alaikum and welcome to the channel. This lipstick, I love, love, love this lipstick. It's 344 low quads and it's by Mark. It's from Mark. Yeah, Mark. I. It's like a black nude, you know? You, do, you don't get a lot of black nude, but this, like, this is just. It's giving life. So I like this lip gloss thing. Like, look at how it just match my skin. Like, it's a black nude. When people call that light brown, light beige, I don't know, like, as nude, and I'm, I'm black people, some black people also call it nude. I'm like, that is not your nude. Nude is like, oh, nude is this. I mean, look at how everything is just camouflaged. Where is my lip? <laughs> where is my lips? Like, where are my lips? <laughs> everything is just camouflaged. Right now. Okay, anyway, so, yes, I will talk about racism and racism in Islam and what I felt. You know, this topic is, oh, it's heartfelt. It's hard. It's huge and it's and sometimes and oftentimes I don't want to talk about it. You know, I have met a couple of black people and people like have never experienced racism before. If you come to the Western society, you have to move around, you have to move with people because it's a diverse continent. If you go to any westernized country, but you know, you can go to any other country in Africa, they like East Africa, and you see like different people from India, from you know, Southwest, South Asian country, and they are living there. I mean, that's a diverse enough. But I guess people are more, it's more diverse here, as in like people saw with the amount of advertisement on getting the better life getting the american dream and people like oh yeah it's true and and i guess maybe sometimes it's true maybe sometimes it's not it depends on your the context too i mean in terms of security i mean there is security in terms of if you do a job are you going to get paid yes you are going to get what you what you paid what you worked for you are going to get paid unlike in many countries when people do not get paid when they work so maybe there is American dream but anyway there is I mean so many people have achieved it but there is also a Nigerian dream because <laughs> so many people have achieved Nigerian dreams and they live that Nigerian luxurious lifestyle in a, in a way that you know they worked for their money and they got it and it's not from like frauding people or scamming people or true like weird and corrupting politicians but anyways let me get back to my topic racism have i felt raised before yes i have so many times through my through high school through junior high through senior high through even in university you know this is why this topic is so hard because you're always like where do i start it's not that people do not want to talk about it even like people that this happens to or that they felt racialized in like a in an environment it's not because they don't want to talk about it it's just like how you talk about it it's a very hard emotion and you sometimes you just don't find the right word to explain in a way that people will understand actually when i started <laughs> when i started here in canada talk 
I think about 13 years ago when social media is not that big and you know if people are doing something bad to another person next door you just have and you and you watch that if you go to another person and tell them they might not believe you it's like oh could some people do that in this 20th century they won't believe you but now that there is like you know we can videotape and send it to so many people and it will fly viral and people will be shown and be ashamed and then people start thinking like people start being accountable for what they say how they act even what they do i mean everybody is so self-conscious now like you don't want to go outside and act irrational to another human being because you know that you will be the you'll be shown in the society you will be shown all over the social media and i think that's something that people are aware of more these days so i have yeah i have um do you want to talk about like between students or even between like teachers to students because this things happens and it's so elaborate you know i have one time one time like a long time ago i think it was when i began my menstrual menstruation menstrual period actually it was it was then like it was, i was still so new back then and i remember that i don't get so much blood coming out back then like i don't get so much blood coming out so sometimes i just had it for like maybe a few days and they're gone so i had this person come to me and told me that someone told them that i stink and the person now go on to explain that the reason why was because oh you know women or girls sometimes they they get some some things like this coming blah 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 and i was like well that's interesting because <laughs> it's the first time that i've heard of heard that and you know why i said i don't use deodorants back then i mean i was probably i was 14 i was 14 back then and <laughs> oh my goodness this is so weird i was working back then so i don't get I, yeah so i was working back then and where i said i didn't wear i don't i did not wear any deodorants but you know you take a shower in an african home you take a shower every single day and you just hope that and even you know what i don't know but you know i shower every day before i go about my way but this person come and be like they hear they some the person told them to come kill me <laughs> yes the person that told me said that okay so this person told me this that i should tell you this and i was like okay and she told me that to dampen down something like odor or something like that you usually use powder here like a scented powder like I was familiar with scented powder, you use scented powder, like mm, you ampere it and that should do everything. But yes, this they told me and I was like, well, that's interesting. I've never heard it before and I've been living here for quite a while now and it's the first time that I will hear that. You know, <laughs> somebody else it's so it's so funny how the person just told another person to come tell me and i'm wondering like if they could have just told me themselves but i do you know and i remember that day i walked away and i walked home and i i told the person that i heard and you know i walked home and i i didn't even know what she said <laughs> I had no idea what was happening. I had no idea what she said. I had I I just heard that she said that and I you know when you are that kid that you don't know what is going on, that was me. And you go home and you tell your parents that just happened. I had no <laughs> clue. I had no single clue what what it was about. So I just kind of I remember even laughing when I was going home. There was something that hurts there. 
sorry if you miss me this time of my life i was such a playful kid i played a lot like i go to the playground do the swing i go to um i go i just go about i was so so playful i was very playful that even sometimes when i go out i ended up getting injured and i'll come home to get taken care of my belly here's a band-aid yeah back then i had no idea what was going on i i don't know so i did not end up telling my parents i had no idea i just i just go yeah, and you know some this is what i noticed about like in like african communities especially as as especially immigrant african immigrant communities during the first few years you don't know what's going on so like the kids are going to school the everybody was going to school and sometimes the kids are going to work and you know because they don't they don't experience any discrimination i mean there is tribalism that is there but it's not even and there is religionism too but it's not even that how there in like if you 13 years ago when i was in nigeria like i don't hear so much of um violence going on in there so maybe in like african immigrant african communities in their homes they should talk about racism in the homes because it does affect the child i mean beside being pressure to do well to do this and everything in, in in school you should also talk about like racism like if your child feel raised or if anybody in the class or even from the teachers because you know you don't know what is going on behind your back if they ever feel like that then but you can step in that they cannot be treating your child this way it's not even maybe or what it's what should be in every of the immigrants or african immigrants who should talk because as a adult you might say that you can they can be quite dismissive as in like oh you get over it or you you do this or you will be fine anyway but actually talk about it and make them feel aware that they are that you know or you cared or anything like that i mean whether you like it or not there are i mean i have seen and have like experienced it like so many times this time that i was talking about i had no clue what that was i had no, I had no idea i was just so so playful and I remember, and I was just walking home that day, and I walked home, and I probably entered my my home, and greet everybody, or if anybody was home, even went to the bedroom that I shared with my siblings, and yeah, and that was it. And you know, I never actually told anybody, and this will be like the first time that I was tell this story out loud. It's always like there in the back of my head or somewhere tucked in in my memory, but I don't ever talk about it. As in, I don't even know what that means back then. Like if I should call it, if I should call it racism or if it's something that the person says out of the way i saw it they saw it the person that said the person said it out of spite and maybe they just don't want to confront me about it and send someone else to come and tell me and the person <laughs> told me and i don't know i just actually after a while i did tell like maybe I'll say about maybe eight years later, I did point it out to one of my parents. Yes, I did. I think I did told my father. Yeah, that's after eight years. 
and then we never even really talk about it again. And you know, I've heard a lot of accounts when go in workplace, some people felt a need to tell another, like a black co worker, that they stink. I've heard so many of it, and I don't know. You know, one thing is, I don't think I'll ever say it to someone, even if they do. I don't think I'll ever say it to someone. Just because, you know, you might say that, you know, they said if you have nothing good to say, then don't say it. I don't, and I don't think telling someone else that they think that it's weird. And you might say that you're doing a service to them, but they're telling them that, oh, do you notice that this? But maybe it's actually not. Like, and, and I guess maybe it depends on where it comes from, too. If it comes from, like, a friend in a joking way, maybe that. But if it comes from a person that you know that maybe this person doesn't like you before, or maybe this person is, like, a rude or person with pride, or a person that, you know, they always see negative in things, or people don't get along with them, and they come to you to tell you this, you might feel like, even even if they are being, if they are trying to pass a message across, as in like, yes, you do, you, they, you might, obviously, you will take it the wrong way, as in like, you're not even a nice person. But they said, if you can't say anything good, don't say it. And I don't think that saying that someone else thinks is a good thing to say anyway. But that's what I think. I mean, would I say it to someone even if they do? Like, honestly, I've... I don't, maybe I, I have a bad nose reel, but I've, I've never actually come across like people stinking. Or even if they do, I probably wouldn't notice. So I don't know how this person even... Like, what? <laughs> oh my god, like... Why would I be... <laughs> Like, why would someone be sniffing anyway? Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, even if you are in a workspace or in like, in like a school space, the distance, the usual distance between the person is like usually great enough to even not perceive anything. But when it's, and then the person comes closer and you feel like they do like what are you sniffing what are you even what i don't know how that person sniffing maybe they like how do you come close 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 like that to sniff someone and like say that oh go tell that person that they do when i come across people like that in my life afterward again i just moved like when they start like throwing negativities at you oh this you don't do this right or this you are lousy or starts accusing you or insulting you in any kind of way just move away because you know sometimes they do say that it's not it's usually not about you it's about the person and you see in others what you what is actually you if i if i say that you see in others what is actually you i may say that you are both equal but maybe like you know some people try to displace or project their negativeness to you it happens i know it happens i probably do it a few times too you know try, just trying to get the negative ne energy out but not in a way that you ended up insulting or making other people feel bad or treating them bad. You know, there is this notion that you have to do more than the other person. You have to do more than the lighter skin counterparts. Like, who wants to work 10 times more? I don't. 
but and you ended up like finding yourself in that exact thing that you don't want to do it's sad but it happens and and it's true like social construction the way like the white supremacy the the direction people tend to lean to you can't do anything about it if people as go this way instead of the left if people go the other way instead of to you i mean you'll feel hurt but you'll also feel fine afterward that is how i see it you know i was reading a comment somewhere and you know it says it, the comment goes roughly like this also oh, like the asian the arab well it's all the all asian i guess I don't even know if sometimes Arab consider themselves Arab, um, African. Most often, you will say they are Asian. I mean, we do is even some even if you see the map of the world and like the Middle East kind of attached to Africa in a way, and I'm like, hmm. So if Middle East is attached, if the I don't know if the tectonic plates or the land of Middle East is attached to African continents. Why are they not considered as part of African continents? But they are called Asian. They are considered as part of Asian continents. So, but then I reckon that they will be considered as part of the Asian continent because of the their the larger parts of the place is attached to the Asian peninsula and not and you know it's only a little part of it that is attached to um Egypt so so the comment that I was talking about is about the person talked about the success rate in terms of the South the Asian immigrants versus and other immigrants versus the black African immigrants again with the assumption that again with the lighter skin or whiter skin judgments as in like the asian community or the asian immigrants tend to be you know tend to experience a higher success rate than it is in the african community as in, in the african Im african immigrant community like why is that uh, all I'll say is like a, a good percentage of the world population is really a good population is lighter skin I think like yeah a good population of the of the world's population is lighter skin and people tend to lean on that side so what do you say if you already have equality that the majority or the i don't know the patriarchal system already have i guess you'll be more widely accepted in the in in part because that's the way i just say it's like if you if you are a lighter person or you are from asia or anything like that and you're lighter skin you come to the western community you are more likely to go far as in because of the system that is already built in place it's not built for the darker counterparts okay i i know like some people be like oh but we experience this too we experience terrorism too but even with that so many success rates still still happen because you are lighter counterpart. I mean, you might say that you experience this and that, religionism, and people calling the other terrorists or calling you terrorists. But I mean, there will always be that struggle. But if you focus, you are more likely to move far than the darker counterpart because some. You know, because they will always feel threatened because of the color of the skin.